Hi everybody. Today I'm going to have a Zoom meeting here with Aaron Lacey from West Companies. And I want to give a special thanks to Kelly Snowden at WFG Title for uh, introducing me to Aaron. And if you guys are in real estate, you definitely want to stay tuned for some of the things that he's going to cover with you guys. Uh, the West Companies put on a great show and these are some of the only webinars that I actually ever attend because the information that they actually pack into their uh, half an hour jam packed with great useful tips that agents and brokerages can uh, implement right away and take advantage of. So definitely comment down below and I'm going to have any links that Aaron talks about in the description box below. Thanks guys. Your pen and paper, Aaron, thank you for joining us, sir. Dad, my pleasure. Kenny, how are you guys? Yeah. I'm going to spotlight your video. Okay, perfect. And so now you are the main man. Look at that setup, Aaron. I'm jealous. There we go. Man. Yeah, look you this. know. Look at this. We're doing. We're we're trying to survive over here. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Ruth, Chris, Ada, hi, Kelly Snowden. Good morning, uh, Kevin. What's going on over there, you guys? And we oh, got yeah. some. In, we got some real live people here. We got you. Got four people in, in house. We're just keeping our distance. I love it. Okay, okay. Chris got that Simpsons background. That's my favorite. Yeah, I like that. Chris, <laughs> shoot that over to me. <laughs> I could I could use that. Um, that's cool. I love it. Okay, um, are we uh, are are we going? Or no, we're waiting a minute. Uh, we're gonna start out in about thirty seconds, but all good. Yeah, no rush, you guys. No rush. Welcome. We all grabbed a pen and paper so we could take good notes. Okay, perfect. Uh, I, I was I was telling Kelly after we we last spoke. Uh, me and Kenny invested in a 3D camera for Astra Astra Room. Yes. Uh, and then we were getting a DJI uh, drone, right? I that love is, it. Yeah. That's less than 250 grams, so we don't uh, anybody that wants to use it, an agent, they don't need a license uh, or register. So uh, you know, but it's video quality. But like I was telling them, you're like my secret sauce, man. All the I great things you give me. Very they probably cool. think I'm a genius. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I just picked it up from someone else too. That's just the, you know what I mean? So yeah. um, I, I love it, man. Well, very cool. I'm, I'm excited to see you put some of that stuff to you. It's super, super valuable stuff right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, just allowing, you know, playing with new technology because in five years, this is what everyone's going to be using. If you adopt it now, you're going to be ahead of the curve. Yeah. You know, and so... <laughs> Um, and you guys, I would say with anything new right now, we just, there, there's going to be a little discomfort trying, learning something new, leveraging something new. Um, but if we just stay patient with ourselves and at least, you know, that, that's really the biggest thing is just stay patient. Let's just learn how to use it. Um, so let me, let me tee this up on my side. All right. So with your permission, we are recording this by the way. Perfect. All right. We're, uh, I, I got my pen and paper. We're taking notes. Everybody's here. Awesome. Okay. So we're, we're rocking and rolling. Beautiful. Um, uh, beautiful one. Let me do one more thing and then we're going to be up and running. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys good. Good morning. Almost good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so let's, let's dive right in here. My name is Aaron Lacey. I'm a, a psychology driven marketing and technology speaker, trainer, coach, and I am, uh, really excited to, you know, be here with you guys today. And, you know, I'm here because, um, because your leadership, because Kenny and Adam see, see value in, in what we're doing, really want to level you guys up. And then of course I wouldn't be here without Kelly Snowden at WFG national title. Um, if you don't know Kelly, she is, uh, she's amazing. I call her a strategic partner. Uh, she's been in the business a while. She's seen everything. She's made every mistake. She's seen every agent make every mistake possible. She knows what not to do now. So awesome, awesome resource for you guys in your business. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and we're going to dive into what I call the five key areas of focus for your business right now. You know, as we're in this shelter in place, a time period where we have the ability to work on our business and not just in it. But what I would say moving forward, uh, these are things, these are five things you can use. And I highly re recommend you incorporate these five things in your business uh, ongoing well into the future. So it's not, it doesn't just end today. 
Okay. So this is all about implementation. You guys all about execution. You know, you've probably heard a lot of great information from a lot of different people over the last month or two, especially in the shelter in place time. You guys, I would say pick out one thing from each of those sessions that you can spend an hour on to try to implement, you know, because if we don't implement, then, then we're just wasting our time, right? It's good information, but it's all about that implementation. So you guys should be able to see my screen right now. Um, so again, I put together these five things based on really a lot of collective feedback on what can help us move the needle, but what is also kind of still a little bit within our comfort zone, allow us to maybe stretch just a little bit, but things that we can do on a daily basis to, to grow and to come out of this ahead. And here's what I would say too. I have a download I'm going to provide you guys, or I'll have Kelly email it out. And it's a 30 day challenge. We've got 30 more days roughly of, of the scenario we're in. Let's take that next 30 days and let's challenge ourselves to execute on in all five of these areas. So uh, I mentioned who I am, Aaron Lacey. I'm an Inman contributing author, Inman ambassador. I do, I spent a lot of time in the digital marketing space. So everything from branding to, uh, to identifying the right audience, to farming, to CRMs, to lead generation, staying top of mind, lead conversion. I, that's what I do. And that's what I love helping agents do. Um, so that's something that when I started in my career 20 years ago, I failed to do these things. And I said, you know what? I am going to learn how to do these better than anybody else. Uh, because I know how hard they are. Cool. Um, so I've spent the last 20 years learning how to do them. Um, and I feel like we can do, we can do them pretty well. And I can share that, uh, my success with you as well. Uh, so I do a series of other sessions and trainings uh, that, again, you know, if, uh, if all goes well today, maybe Adam and Kenny will have me back. So let's dive right in. So what kind of scenario situation are we in right now? Well, let's look at when people make a real estate decision, when they decide to buy or sell, it's always life event related. Upsize, downsize, empty nester, job relocation, there's a, an illness or a death in the family, whatever that looks like. Typically, most, most sales and purchases are life event related. Guess what, you guys? The situation scenario we're in right now is a massive life event market. A lot of pent up demand. There's a lot of opportunity coming down the pipeline. So with that said, we're probably reaching out to a lot of people right now, putting our arms around them. You probably already have over the last month or so, which is great. And here's what I love about real estate. Real estate is really the singular industry that has embraced the community as a whole. It's incredible. I think it's phenomenal uh, what we've done. I think the new conversation though, according to Mike Ferry, Mike Ferry is one of my all time favorite real estate coaches. He talks about how the new conversation that we're having with people is no longer, do you need to buy or sell? Or are you still considering moving? It's how is the family? How is everybody, right? That's the conversation. Um, so it's no longer a sales conversation. It's a just checking in, right? It's an empathy driven conversation. Um, so step one, you guys are key area. Number one, embrace your people. If you haven't done this, you guys, this is the most important thing we can do right now is putting our arms around our people. When I say your people, I mean, we literally start calling, start texting, start emailing. Uh, we start messaging on social media. If you haven't already, your people, and it's a simple conversation. How is everybody? How's the family? Are you safe? Are you sane? Right? That is it. You guys, if we haven't done it yet, it's not too late. Let's still do it. Actually, now is a great time to do it. We still have an, another month of this shelter in place. Let's, let's do that if you haven't already done it. Um, what I would say though is how are you managing? And what I would ask is how are you managing your contacts? Are you using CRM or spreadsheet? You guys, can I see show of hands? How many people have a CRM they're using regularly? Okay, so we've got a handful of folks. For those that don't, you guys highly recommend, highly recommend uh, looking at a CRM. You've heard of the words, you've heard the acronym CRM for a while now, right? It's basically a three letter word, uh, but it is absolutely crucial that we leverage that in our business. I wanna show you guys a couple easy tips that you can leverage right now with your CRM. But the first step I wanna show you is what we're gonna do. We're going to download our information and I'm gonna actually switch, switch screens that I'm sharing and I want to show you uh, what that looks like for those that are on Android or on iPhone. I, if you don't have all your contacts in a CRM yet, highly recommend you do that. The best way to do that is to jump onto either Google contacts 
if you're using an Android. Um, and, and so go to contacts.google.com. I'm sure all your contacts are synced there. And what you want to do is just scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to see an export option. Click on export You can get all your contacts out of Google. And I want you to put them in some location where we can manage them and create follow-up tasks and add, and add, uh, add labels and tag them and, and do some outreach, some marketing outreach from there. Maybe even an email newsletter or a video, uh, email blast right? Which we cannot do in Google contacts. We can't do in Excel. Uh, so first thing we want to do is get all of our contacts out. Uh, if we're on an iPhone, all we need to do is go to iCloud.com, right? When we're in iCloud, uh, you'll, we'll, we can just click on contacts. So if you're not familiar with iCloud, any, everyone that has an Apple ID and has an iPhone has access to this. So you'll just simply go to iCloud.com, click on contacts. Second option. Once you or on your contact screen on the very bottom left, you're gonna see a little, uh, a little gear icon. That's your, that's your action menu. Click on that, you're gonna see export vCard, okay? Export all your contacts out. Get them out. Get them somewhere where we can start to work with them. So, so you, you export them out, uh, and, and then what we'll do is we're gonna import them into your CRM. So I'm gonna switch tabs over to a CRM that I really like called Lion Desk. Anyone heard of Lion Desk before? Uh, the thing I like about Lion Desk is it's really inexpensive and it's easy to use. Okay, those are two big, two big benefits in my world. So easy to use in the sense that you have all the, all the functionality you need right in one place and then it's inexpensive. It's $25 a month. Uh, I will have a promo code for you guys, $20 a month. So 20 bucks a month. Yes. And that to one, you, uh, up you one more on here. We actually include uh, our CRM, which is Chime. It's about $500 a month. We include it for free to each agent at zero cost. And it, okay. it's, it's, it's fully built out and it does text, uh, emails, automation, MLS, everything is built in. Chime is my favorite CRM. Okay. Is it? Chime, Chime honest, is my favorite though. CRM. It's my favorite CRM. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so I'm, I'm being honest though, guys, I did the research on this for weeks and yeah. weeks, but my Chime is, uh, our Chime is so well built out that Chime themselves are corporate actually are using our, our is using our website as their as their demo now because like not is, is it's not only for buyers and sellers it's actually for agents too for recruiting so uh but if you could let us know about your experience with chime that'd be really grateful i don't know you're a chime lover which is, which is awesome I, I i am yeah so you, typically i don't mention chime in an individual agent uh you know event like this because it's usually it's pretty unaffordable i mean 500 dollars a month to even get started with chime the fact that you guys all have chime at no additional cost incredible i mean so chime's got a website property search front end it's got incredible crm back end uh but what i want to show you and it's got a ton of different features what i want to show you is a, a simple a simple tactic that can help move the needle with all of your contacts so once you get your contacts loaded into your crm what i want you to do is organize them Okay. And, but I first want you to just identify who are the top, you know, if we were to basically rank all of our contacts, A plus, A, B, C, and D, right? Who would those A pluses and A's be, right? Those people that are instrumental in your business, have referred someone to you, have closed the transaction with you and plan on using you again, have referred someone and plan on referring another person. And maybe they haven't, but they're saying they're going to refer someone to you. Who are those people? Those are the people we need to identify and focus on. I want to call those your, your MVPs. Okay. So those are the people that we're really going to spend a lot of time working on the B's and C's and D's. Like the B's are people that, um, that you may get into a transaction with. You probably haven't closed a deal with yet, uh, but you probably will. C's are leads that you might have. And then D's are people that we need to probably pull out of our database, out of our CRM. So A pluses are going to be refer, refer to you multiple times, use you multiple times. And then A's are somebody that's either used or referred you. We want to focus on those people. What I want to do, that may only be 10 people, maybe 15, 20, depends on how, on how long you've been in the business, how many transactions you've had. But what I would say is let's identify who those people are. And we want to, first off, we want to rank them. Okay, we wanna rank them as our A pluses or A's. And I know in Chime, it's easy to rank and it's also easy to add tags, okay? And that can be one and the same. You could, you could say, like this contact, for example, I click on Hank Lee. I could say, okay, Hank Lee, I'm gonna add a tag. He's, a, he's an A plus. Boom, 
He's an A plus. And he likes beer, gaming, and gardening. What I'm gonna do with my A's and my A pluses is I'm going to tag them with their interests and their hobbies. I'm gonna figure out what their interests and their hobbies are. I'm gonna go to social media. I'm gonna to talk to people if I need to, their friends and family. I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna come up with at least five different things that I know that they're passionate about, that they get excited about, and I'm gonna tag them with those things, okay? And you guys, by the way, this strategy came from the top agent in Fresno, California. His name's Jason Ferris. Uh, he, he, eight years ago, was just a single agent with no business. Today, he runs a 100-agent brokerage. He's the top agent in Fresno. He, he attributes most of his success to the fact that he uses a CRM every day. He, he adds all of his people into it every day, and then he tags them based on their interests and hobbies. And when he sees something related to beer or gaming or gardening or whatever it might be, whatever it might be, he'll go to his CRM and, and you know, Chime, great app available as well. So you go right to the app and he'll do a search for, let's say it's gardening. He saw a great article. He watched a good show or he saw uh, somebody said something about gardening or so he, he's got something he feels like is interesting for one of these topics. Boom, there's all the contacts that have an interest in gardening. And then he will either send them an email or send them a text message right from, right from his CRM. Okay, says, hey, you know, um, hey, I came across this article. Here's a link to it. I was thinking about you. Let me know what you think. That simple activity has created a massive business for him. You guys, is that... Is that pretty straightforward? Is that pretty easy? So he's constantly identifying things that he can send to his database. And he's constantly tagging and categorizing more and more and more of his contacts. So you'll notice how only right now I only have one contact with, with some tags. Imagine if I had 100 and half those had tags. I'd, if I had any available time and those contacts were ranked A's, I would make sure that I had tags. I've got their interests and hobbies in here. Because then when I see something about, uh, about boats, I'll go up and I'll tag uh, boats or sailing or you know, uh, scuba diving or whatever it might be. I'll tag that in uh, and I'll search for that. There's my eight contacts that like scuba diving and I'm going to send them an email or text message about scuba diving. So that's, that's, one, that's one strategy, you guys, that is absolutely incredible. Very easy, very easy to do. Let's jump back in here. So we're going to download their information from social media from wherever we can get it. Um, then we're gonna put it all in one place, right? So however many contacts you have, go ahead and just load them in. You guys, load them in this chime, right? Get them in there, right? It's, it's a very easy export import. If you need any help, you know how to, I, I mean, you know, between Adam and Kenny, you guys are, you guys are taken care of. If for some reason you wanna reach out to Kelly or, my, or myself, happy to work with you as well. Um, get your contacts loaded, get them categorized for you guys. That's probably the biggest challenge that most people have with setting up their, C their CRM is getting their contacts just organized, just categorized. Hey guys, for this, you guys have Owen, uh, Aaron, we actually have somebody here on staff that that's their whole job is to do this for them. So as good as Kenny and, Aaron, uh, Kenny and Adam are like, Aaron, Owen actually yeah. does this for you guys. You guys, I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. First time, first time I've even heard this that any brokerage offers that. You guys, you're wow. So you guys have incredible support. I would absolutely take. Uh, I would I would take them up on on that offer um, because there's nothing more time consuming and sometimes frustrating than getting your contacts loaded and organized. Um, so okay, so once you've got them in Chime, uh, then you're going to categorize them. You're going to add interests and hobbies, but you want to identify those MVPs. And again, I would say the MVPs are the A pluses and the A's. Okay, just remember that the A pluses and the A's. And then here's, here's one other thing I want to show you that is a great strategy that can really connects a social media into this equation. And that is, uh, and that is creating a custom list. So here I am on Facebook and I have an MVP list. Okay. So for those that aren't familiar with custom lists on Facebook, when you add someone as a friend on Facebook, they automatically get added to a list and that list is friends, but we can mouse over friends and say, add to another list. And then I can go down and add them to my MVP list. Right. Oh. And if I don't have an MVP list, I just click on new list and I type in MVP. What happens is now 
I get a list created with just people that are my MVPs. So if I go to facebook.com, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see explore, okay? And you'll see see more. If I click on see more, you're gonna see the option to manage your list, okay? To manage your list. Um, where did that go? Looks like it just disappeared on me. Um, Oh, here it is. It's the second one. Friendless. Friendless. So if I click on friendless, and then you could start here. You could just go right to friendless. If I go to friendless, I can click on create list, name it MVP, and then I can just start to add people to it. Okay? I can start to add people to it. So I'll add my A pluses and my A's to it. Once I have that list created, it's going to show up right here. I can click on it. And now I'm actually taken to a place where I can post and only those MVPs will see that post, but also, and I think more importantly, is the engagement side. Now I'm on that list. Here's that, that, here's that newsfeed of just my MVPs. And guess what I can do? I can see exactly what those people are doing right within the last several days or several weeks, you guys. So it's using Facebook a lot more intentional. This newsfeed is nobody else but my MVPs. And here's the thing too. So I can see Larry Hunt, tag Barbie Lindsay. I can see what's going on. Now I can comment, I can share, right? You guys, engagement is more valuable than posting, okay? Engagement is more valuable than posting your own posts, okay? Because what's happening is, if I, let's say that I post on Nicole Dudley's and I say, wow, you know, beautiful lake, like what kind of horses are those? Guess what's happening? That post or that comment is being seen by her entire network and she feels even more connected to me because I, I made that comment. So you guys, that's a great way to intentionally use Facebook. Um, and then to take that even a step further, I'll go up here to the address bar and I'll pull the address, I'll pull this this URL down and boom, I'll drop it right in my bookmark bar as MVP. And then when I go to Facebook, I just click on that so that I go through this news feed first, make sure I get caught up to speed with all my A pluses and A's before I even go to my regular news feed. Okay. So great strategy for, again, that is using Facebook very intentionally. And then my last, the last thing I want to talk about on embrace your people is your outreach call to, connect to, text to every day. Can you challenge yourself with doing that two, two, two strategy? Can you call two people, connect with two on social? Maybe you're not connected to all your A pluses and A's on social media. You guys connect with them. See if they're on Facebook. If they are, connect with them there. Uh, if they're on Instagram and you're on Instagram, connect with them there as well. They may use Instagram more than they use Facebook. And then, and then text to, send two text messages or social media messages send them a message on Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram. Okay. Um, okay. Adam, and how, how are we doing on time, by the way? Am, it's all yours, man. Am I wrapping up at 1130 or uh, am I? You can go a few minutes over. I know, I know we had a, we, uh, we had a few minutes delay there. Okay. So. All right. I'm going to speed it up cause I'm still only on the first key. So uh, we're going to, you guys, we're going to take this, uh, we're going to kick this into the fifth year. All right. Um, okay. So with everything we do, you guys, we're always leading with empathy. And I love this talk track, you guys. Are you safe and are you sane? Every time I ask that, I'm like, you know, hey, what's going on, Chris? Hey, are you safe? Are you sane? You know, it's, there's always a chuckle. There's always a chuckle. Um, so whatever your line is, like, you guys, you can text it to people. You can message them on social. But, you know, have something you kind of drop on people. How's the family? Everyone's sane. You know, there's always like a laugh. And if you can get a laugh out of someone, you've won the conversation. It's a total win. Um, you guys. Key area number two, power up your online presence. Google My Business. Is there anybody that doesn't have a Google My Business profile yet? And if you don't, you guys, this is a huge, huge opportunity to make an incredible first impression. I think arguably your Google My Business profile is your most important online profile. I'm going to do a, uh, another screen share. I want to show you what this looks like. Uh, I just did a search for an agent named John Gluck. And you'll notice on the right-hand side, see this profile, see these photos? This is his Google My Business profile where he's got now a listing not only on Google but also on Google Maps. So Google search results, Google Map. When someone does a search for you or any service you provide in the area that you work, 
it's very likely you're going to show up. Guess what else? It's got all of his information, website. They can one click call, one click text message. Uh, they can see any posts that he posts directly to his Google uh, My Business feed. They can see reviews for him from around the web. Uh, they can see any other reviews that people have made for him, his bio, other updates that he has, his social media profiles, you guys all in one place. It's just a matter of getting this set up. That's the Google business profile. And what's happening too is not only is it on the right hand side on desktop, but most people that are searching on Google. And by the way, you guys, 90% of the people that find out about us, Kevin, Ruth, Ada, you guys, they are searching for us on Google. Whether they're, it's a lead, a past client, a referral, someone we met at an open house, just a friend, friend of a friend, whatever that looks like, they're searching for, for us on Google first. And most of them are searching from their phones. What happens when they search for us on their phones and we have a Google business profile? That profile shows up above the Google search results. It is the first thing they see for us on the internet. It's the most important profile we have. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we have that in place. The other most important profile um, so here's what that looks like on Google Maps. Again, you'll have a, a listing right there. Is your Yelp business profile? So that's going to be biz. Let me let me let me just stop for a second. Google business profile business.google.com business.google.com. Create that profile there. You can also download the Google Business app. Just search for Google My Business App Store, Google Play Store. You can download that. Okay. So Yelp, Yelp business your second most important online profile, in my opinion, biz.yelp.com, biz, B-I-Z.yelp.com. Create that profile. Okay. Get that filled out. Get that created. You guys, you want to make sure you're found in these two locations. Why? Because these locations are leveraged by smart home devices, uh, Google home, Amazon, Alexa, uh, Amazon echo devices use either Yelp or Google my business to return results. If you ask Siri right now, hey Siri, where's the nearest real estate agent? Guess where Siri is gonna turn for those results? It's gonna pull in information right from Yelp. Yeah, if, you, if someone on an Android device, which 60% of phones or 60% of the smartphone market uh, pre are predominantly Android uh, driven within the United States, someone searches on their phone, hey Google, that's gonna actually turn, Android's gonna turn to a Google business profile for that result. Um, okay, so here's what we got. We got Google business profile. We've got Yelp business profile. LinkedIn, when was the last time you checked in on your LinkedIn? Updated your headshot, made sure all your contact information was correct. Updated your bio. You got a really good looking cover uh, photo or background photo there. Um, your website, highly recommend leveraging a website. Uh, guess what? With Chime, you get a free website, customizable. You can, and what I recommend, go in there, customize it, personalize it, you guys. What a phenomenal opportunity. I'm seriously, I'm blown away. You guys have the best CRM on the market, best property search website on the market, and someone that'll manage all your contacts and get them loaded in and categorized for you. Like, uh, Adam, if, if this gig for me doesn't work out, I'm, I'm signing up with you, man. That sounds like a good deal. Um, brokerage profile, you got to, you know, uh, you know, social bios, background photos. You guys, here's what I would say too. With regards to social media, I would much rather you just check in on your MVP's news feeds and what they're posting on a daily basis every morning than anything else. That is the most valuable activity you can do on social media. I wouldn't even worry about what, you're, what you want to post or need to post, right? Um, I would just check in on them, engage with them, because those are the people that can drive your business, right? So if you want to go above and beyond and start posting as well, um, then what I would say is post once a week to your Facebook business page, to your LinkedIn, uh, into your Google business profile. And guess what? You can post the exact same thing to all three and just once a week, right? It could be a market update. It could be um, something that's happened in the community. Uh, it could be whatever, right? And I highly recommend, of course, video is king. Use video as much as possible. From a review standpoint, you guys, do we have a review system, a review process in place for making sure that we're generating reviews? Here's the thing. One thing to consider, we don't have to wait until we even are working with someone to ask them for a review. You could ask me for a review. You could ask Kelly. You could ask your colleagues. You could ask anybody that knows you in a professional or business setting for a review. Okay. You guys, we want to get double digit reviews on our profiles as soon as possible. So that Google business profile, Yelp business profile, how quickly can we get to, to 10 reviews uh, on those? Um, so here's what I would say too. If you're posting, if you're posting regularly uh, on social media, 
lead with education. There's three types of content that all that every post falls into. One is it's either educational, entertaining, or it's empathetic or emotionally driven. So it's the three E's, educational, entertaining, or something that's empathy driven or emotionally driven, right? That's it. Those are the three types of content. Right now, the best type of content to share really is all three, but I would say education. People want to know what's happening. They're, this is a time of uncertainty. Provide some, some sort of guidance, right, with your certainty. You guys, um, I know we're at uh, 1130. Um, let me see how quickly I can get through this, this, these last couple. Um, and if I can't, maybe, you know, maybe I can come back and share some of the stuff with you. But just a quick strategy for what we can do right now for empowering local businesses because they're the ones that are really, were really hit hard at this time. I like the concept of ado adopting. A local business or business person basically look through your A's your A pluses even your B's find out if you've got a business owner or a business person that you could potentially help create a win-win for so identify who that might be if they have gift cards gift certificates if there's something you can help them with um, it would be phenomenal right you could help them maybe with maybe you're pretty good at marketing help them with their online presence help them create a, a Google business profile a Yelp business profile um, you know help them with maybe social media a little bit uh, but if you buy a gift card, what you can do is you can actually give those out to people in exchange for reviews. So a good strategy there. Um, another thing you can do with those business owners, interview them on Zoom, just like we're doing right now. And you can share that on social media, tag them in it. What they're going to do is they're going to actually then reshare that and you're going to get access to their entire audience, their entire network. When I say interview them, I mean simply ask them three questions in three minutes. Hey, I'm sitting here with, with Joe Smith, owner of... Uh, Smith laundromat. Hey, Joe, how'd you get in the laundromat business? Hey, Joe, um, you know, uh, Hey, what's going on right now with, with your laundromat business? Hey, how can people help you? How can, how can we get in touch with you? What can we do to help you? Hey, thanks so much for your time. That's the video. Um, you guys, number four, we talked about social media, check in daily, set up that MVP list, you guys, and engage with them. You're so much it's so much more effective if you engage versus just simply posting for the sake of posting. And the last thing you guys, Now's the time you guys level up. We've got 30 more days where we're like, I like to say we're in the lab. You know what I mean? We're working on our business instead of in it. Um, we've got a little bit of flexibility for leveling up. What are we going to do right now, you guys, to work on that skill that we've been putting off or that we, we've been wanting to dive into? Uh, is there something, have we been wanting to get more into video? Have you wanted to like create a, start blogging or start writing more or, or start, start doing a weekly market update. Um, you know, is there some sort of certification you've been wanting to get, get, get into or access to you guys? There's so many incredible resources. Pick one thing. Uh, I've, I've got an agent client of ours that he didn't know anything about the, the economy until this pandemic happened. And he has gone so deep in the economy. He's now sharing his economical perspective over social media. You guys, and I'm telling you a month, a month and a half ago, this is the last person to ever even he didn't even know how to say the word economy, right? Now, now he's like an economist. I mean, he knows how like, he knows how the Fed works. Like he's just gone super deep into it. And guess what? He has people reaching out to him. Hey, so, you know, if the Fed does this, should I sell, right? That is a lead. That is a really hot lead. He's, he's creating relationships and he's being seen as this authority, this expert in the economy, right? What a great place to be. But again, it could be anywhere. It could be anything. Um, this is a website, my website here, themoderndayagent.com. I just want to end with that real quick, you guys. Um, that's just a great resource for you. If you want to level up in uh, with, with technology and marketing, uh, we've got a, a bunch of different sections here, but we've got our product library. We've taken the best in class, over 100 different tools, uh, platform systems, um, and we've rated and reviewed them and categorized them uh, all in these different categories from branding to email marketing to lead capture, photo and video, um, social media, stuff like that. Um, we've got our MDA University uh, where you can go and level up in certain areas. We've got our blog here where we, we're pushing out some of the top uh, related content and information that you can get access to. We're interviewing top agents around the country. Um, here's my team, you guys. Uh, we're the, the, you know, these, you know, West nerds, as we call ourselves. Um, there's 16 of us. Uh, we work around the country as well. We're constantly collaborating, strategizing. And then here's the events that we have, you guys. Um, so I know I've gone a little over, uh, but I just want to thank you guys so much for your time. And I wanted to open up, see if anybody had any questions, comments, um, observations that, that you wanted to share. 
Well, uh, for, yeah. Since we're, since we're in a permission uh, based uh, social uh, structure here, uh, with your permission, can I can I post this up and just uh, blur out your contact information on your contact list there? You're, you're ha you can share it and you can leave the contact information. You're totally fine. Got it. it. Whatever, okay. whatever you want to do. Got it. Got it. Oh, you guys want to rein in Chris, uh, Kevin, Ada? You guys want to ask Aaron any questions? No, I think it is, it is very helpful. I really love your um, presentation. Um, as far as the Facebook part, I, it's been driving me crazy because I do categorize some of my friends on Facebook, but I haven't figured out where you can look for, like once you categorize it, to be able to see if you want to end categorize it or if you want to change something. So showing me how to get there, that was very helpful. Um, the only thing I just want to see is like, let's say you type in your MVP list, right? I just want to see the friends listed under that MVP instead of seeing all of that you because you were showing what they were posting and things like that. Is there a way that you can just see that list of people? Absolutely. So you guys again, right on, if you go right to facebook.com on the left hand side under explore, it's going to be one of these options. You'll see friend lists. It could be your second option. You have to, you may have to click see more to see friend lists. Click on that. Click on your MVP list or create that list, add people to it. Once you're on that list, here's all their, their newsfeed posts, right? Here's everything they post in the last day or two. On the right hand side, here's everyone in that list. Here's all their profile pictures. You can click see all. Here's all those people on that list. And then this will also allow you to then just type in. So you can That's do it. exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. So you can search for people. Um, here's what's nice too. So here's all the people that are in that list. As it grows, you can actually search and see if, you know what, did I add Chris to that list? No, I haven't. You know what, let me do this. Let me click the drop down. Let me just click on friends. Let me go to Chris and let's just say this is you, Chris. Boom, I'm gonna then add him to that list. Oh, maybe I wanna add this guy and this girl as well. Click on finish. Now I've gone from nine to 12. Or I could just simply add them from here as well. So yep. Hopefully that answers your question. Here's all the yeah. people on that list. It sure does because it's, it's been driving me crazy because I've been doing it like searching friends and then I'm kind of like recategorizing, but I do a search of the friend. So in having the list all at once is amazing. Awesome, you guys. Um, I guess the, the, the last thing I want to just end with here, just one more second. Um, I, I forgot to mention the 30-day challenge. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, I want to touch on that again. We're going to email that out, you guys. Uh, so that's going to be fun, something that you guys can – leverage and, and dial into. And then here's what I'd recommend you guys, uh, book a 20 minute session with me. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, just go to getwithaaron.com, uh, select a, a time slot that works best for you guys. And let's just, let's just chat. Um, you know, I'd love to know what your goals are, what you're working on. Uh, and, and I'm, I'll make, I guarantee in our, that conversation, I'll make two recommendations that will, will help move the needle for you. Um, even if we never talk again. Right. So, uh, but I'd love to just chat with you. Um, you know, everyone in this room has something awesome to give to the, to the real estate market, to the community that maybe they're not even aware of yet. And a lot of times I can help you uncover that or even uncover some blind spots in your business that you're not aware of or some challenges that you need some direction, maybe just a little bit of steering to overcome. Those are the things that I really, really am excited and enjoy doing. So you guys definitely jump on getwithaaron.com, uh, find 20 minutes that works for you and uh, let's get going. And then, um, it, or, or you guys, Kelly, Kelly is really my gatekeeper. Um, so, so I'll, I'll pull in Kelly in, into any session we have, uh, or you're free to email her case known at wfgtitleco.com. Um, I know she's, you know, she's so helpful. She's again, what I call a strategic partner. So, um, very, very strategic, one of the most strategic people that I know period, especially in business. So, um, Anyway, you guys, again, thank you so much for your time. Kelly, did you want to, did you want to kind of close it out? Just thank every, uh, no, I just appreciate Kenny and the team and Adam and the team. And, yep. you know, before, before I met Aaron, Adam was always my technology guru. And now I get two and I'm leveling up every day by learning everything they're teaching. So when you learn, I learn. So let's book it. <laughs> I love it. You guys. All right, so, guys. Cool. Awesome. Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have have a great day. Be kind to uh, everybody. Help somebody else out. Uh, change somebody else's day, and it literally changes your day and puts a smile on your on your face. And uh, you know, it's just that good energy that we want to keep going. And it's a small world. Uh, uh, Kevin, I know I have you here. Uh, yesterday we had a conversation about something about the fifty fifty split. And I want to thank Kelly because when I was a new agent, Kelly is the one that actually caught that on my contract. So she so she taught me. 
and I shared that with you yesterday. And that's the way the world works, right? If we keep what we know just in our own heads, we're not helping anybody, right? So I want to thank you, Aaron, for coming out today, man. I know you got a bunch of stuff. You're probably, uh, you, got, you got another meeting to run to. So we all appreciate you, man. Thank you. Awesome. I appreciate it. And thank you, Kelly, for making it happen. Kenny, Adam, bye, you guys. Kevin, Chris, Ruth, Thanks, Ada. Everybody. Have a good bye, day. Guys. Bye, guys. Talk to you soon. Okay. And if you guys are new to the AHS brand, uh, we're here in Concord, California, and we are a 100% commission platform, which is great for agents. It allows you to have a much more profitable business while you can give better service to your clients. And there's no monthly fees, all the technology, everything that you want is built in. And this is our office here and we are open and we are rocking away. So if you guys got any questions, please feel free to reach out to me uh, directly. My number is 925-471-6907. I'm going to have my information down below as well and have a, f a fantastic and safe day. Thanks.